Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn how to connect MongoDB with the Nest.js. So let's get started. First of all, we have to install the dependency npm i nest.js mongoose mongoose. Right. After the installation, what we have to do, we have to do the connection part. In the app module.es, we have to import the module, mongoose module, nest.js mongoose. Right. And in, in the import section, you have to add mongoose module for root. And here you need to pass the connection string of the MongoDB. After passing this connection to the MongoDB, if it is not enabled, that means it will throw some errors. Right. If it is connected, if you have start your MongoDB and everything is working, then it will automatically connect it, right? Okay, so moving to the red, next one. For the root, method accepts the same configuration object as the Mongo can, mongos .connect accept, right? Okay, so let's move into the next part. So here we have a model injection. So we have to create the models like the table. Okay, so here you can see that we have a prop schema, schema factory for that reason. And here we have used property first name, age, breed. So this kind of schema that we have to create so that that tables could be created into your MongoDB database, right? So if I go and just check my condition over here, so you can see that first we are creating the keys. Here we, I am just adding the MongoDB connection string. Okay, and by default, if you go and just open the app module.es, just import mongoose model module over here and mongoose for this config dot here you can directly pass the connection string, right? That if it will this is the connection part. After that, we have to create the tables. For the create the tables, you have to go with the schemas, right? So here I have created the schema name is name, quantity, and the description. Okay, and the prop schema and the schema factory, what it denotes the prop decorator marks property it annotates as a property this is basically a property of your mongodb schema decorator marks the class okay it's schema basically it's a class annotates as a schema and the schema factory class contains the static methods okay so here you can see the schema factory that create the static methods used for creating the models right and this is the documents that you, you know that the mongoose built in of the document so you need to import that one documents right and here you need to export that schema. Okay. So this, this is this part basically create the model creation in the Mongo. Here app module.ts connection part, connection string we have passing the, for the connection string. Okay. And let's see, else there is a no change, right? So after doing this one, let's see whether the de details of that one fetching or not. Let's have a look on that one. So I have already added one product so uh, here i'm going to make it the get request and send it back so here you can see that that means data is connected mongodb connection is totally successful okay so you can see that i have add, if i go and just add any of the post details over here suppose this is post rolex one two and price is 23 and this is test product two if I go and just insert this one and make it the get request again, two records should be there, right? So here you can see that two records are fetching successfully. So this is how we are able to connect. That means the connection is runs perfectly. Okay, so this is how you can connect to the MongoDB. Next video, we are going to learn how to create the REST APIs in the Nest shares. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.